government has not utilized social media quite well. It, its usage is terrible. One, ministries do not really, the, the usage of social media, like for example for ministries, um, is not really pleasant because uh, they are always silent when we tag them. If, for example, all ministries copied what the Ministry of Health is doing, even the ministers themselves, Jen Ruth Cheng or, 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 or Diana Twime, what they're doing on Twitter is amazing. They, are bec they have become authorities on information. When, when, there's, when there's information about an outbreak of Ebola or cholera or whatever it is, they are there to either verify or put that in the corners, fake news. So I think government needs to come out more. We need to see it. And the more we see it, the more information we get. And the more information we get, perhaps the less of the people become angry. <laughs> now that we are seeing uh, uh, so many political program problems in our country, um, in elections, in, um, in change of many things, we're going to see more personalities, especially in the politics arena, forced to come online to engage with people because I, I think like the usage of social media by like Bobby Wine or Joel Senyonyi or Kiza BCJ or, or Frank Tumweba uh, it, 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 that is going to come out the more and I think the more politicians engage, the less are going to tell those lies because online people are going to hold them accountable if they do enter the platforms. The more they hold them accountable, the lesser lies they tell. Yeah.